This is Star Wars, Clone Wars animated Mace Windu figure. Very nice looking figure. Uh, for, all, uh, for all of you guys who have been re requesting for a Star Wars review, uh, I am happy, very pleased to announce that I've picked up a few more uh, Star Wars figures uh, from the Clone Wars latest wave. And starting with this figure, I'll be bringing you a slew of figures, uh, figure reviews uh, anytime soon. Uh, okay, now, uh, I have been waiting and waiting for ages for this figure to arrive. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen in some of the websites, the fan sites, that this figure was, this wave in particular, was supposed to arrive in late July, early August 2009. But, you know, I had already given up looking for him this month because all the G.I. Joes were flooding the retail stores and... I did see him at Toys R Us, and I am thrilled, just just stoked, just to have him. Um, I actually immediately picked him up along with a few other figures, and it is an amazing, amazing figure. I am very pleased and happy to have him. So, Mace Windu, I mean, badass Jedi. <laughs> I mean, he is one of my favorite Jedis uh, of all. I mean, Anakin, Luke, uh, Plo Koon. Uh, Kid Fist. I mean, but this guy just just takes the cake. I mean, he is one badass dude. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson, man. How can you go wrong? He could not have gotten a better guy to uh, to to play the role. Anyway, he's a he's a sort of an update from his movie figure. Um, here he is in the. Uh, I don't know if this is the Clone Wars, Attack of the Clones, or Revenge of the Sith. But uh, it's a big update, and I actually like the head sculpt better in this fi uh, in this figure, in the animated figure, than in the movie figure. Also, the blade has changed. This is a deep, the animated figure has a deeper purple blade. This one is a light pinkish blade. But all in all, it is still Mace Windu. And this guy has a lot more battle armor uh, to boot. So let's put him aside. Okay. All right. Uh, this figure comes with a lot of battle arm armor. I mean, he even comes with a clone trooper helmet. Uh, I mean, it, it's a purple helmet. I mean, come on, man. Would Mace Windu be wearing this in a battle? I probably will, maybe, maybe. If he has a space battle or, or, or a heavily armed battle. I mean, he's okay, but he's a Jedi. He doesn't need this kind of armor. It's a force. But it's a good touch. I mean, I, I really like it. Uh, I mean, I still like it. I probably won't display him this way, though. But it's a, it, it's an interesting touch. Uh, he could probably do well without the shoulder pads as well. I mean, just, just with these uh, uh, this chest piece, this torso armor, I think it's okay. I mean, to, to get rid of it, you have to take off, pop off the head. But we're not going to do that now because I don't want to risk loosening the joint. And, and I like this this bit right here. Uh, gives it a, a more complete touch uh, because he, he's got this painted on uh, uh, forearm guards and hand hand armor so it's okay I think I'll probably keep it that way uh, yeah it's an amazing figure uh, his arms have again brilliant articulation you can rotate 360 go in and out bend at the elbows rotate 360 at the elbows and rotate 360 at the wrist he's got a ball jointed head Arms, uh, sorry, legs sadly don't do much except move forward and backward, slightly hindered by his costume. The costume is non-removable, which is fine. But the only gimmick that they've added, uh, which really hinders articulation, is uh, he's got this, um, what do you call it, swinging lightsaber action. It, it's like this. It's like a snapping, I mean, if you've had those old, uh, even the new ones, um, uh, Masters of the Universe, He-Man figures, I mean, you, you'll recognize this one easily. And if you have the Battle Begins Deluxe Class Optimus Prime and Megatron set, I mean, it's okay. It, it, it's kind of getting old for me, but I mean, it is there. So, what can you do, right? Um, okay. He, the figure also, together with the, the wave, the other figures in this current wave, comes in new packaging, which I will show. I hope I don't get into trouble by showing the packaging. Um, 
here he is in the new red ener energy sort of energy stylized red version red box uh, I have to say the, the, the change is a welcome one I'm a big fan now of this new packaging it is just brilliant um, it's a lot better than the clone trooper helmet that we were used to seeing with, with the antenna um, the packaging just jumps out at you I mean if you look at the back you get to see more of Mace Windu, the bio, and some of the uh, assortment of the package uh, of the wave, um, and, and the blister uh, plastic on him is is, is 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 I think a lot better because instead of the curved ones, it's got squarish um, uh, molding in it. It's got good angles and nice. It's a different. Sh it's a different shape box. I mean, this is a wonderful, wonderful packaging. The marketing research they've done on this packaging, the design on this packaging is just spot on. And I, I cannot be more pleased with this packaging. Um, not to belabor the point, but, it, you know, it, it, I was really g getting tired with that uh, clone trooper helmet on, on every single packaging there is. But uh, this one is, is pretty good. You, you, I mean, once you see them on shelves, you'll really want to buy the figures. I've seen some of the packaging designs on the internet pictures, but, you know, seeing them actually on the shelf, it's just amazing, and I hope they keep this up. They can even do a blue version on it, I really don't mind, but this is an amazing packaging. I'm probably keeping the box. Okay, final thoughts. If you are a Star Wars fan, even if you're not a fan of the animated show, you love Mace Windu, this is a must-have figure. Not a lot of posability on him, but still, still a very, very cool figure, and I, I cannot recommend him enough. Um, he, I reckon he'll be one of those easily, easily picked up, quickly snatched up on shelves if it once they go on retail in your neck of the woods. But out here in Manila, this guy is on retail, so if you're not really into G.I. Joe's, I mean, or the Marvel three and three quarter figures. This is the this is a wonderful figure to pick up, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. So there you have it. Star Wars Clone Wars animated Mace Windu. Thank you for watching.